Hello again everybody and welcome to another episode of Tech World 2. Don't mind me, just doing a little farming. Um, but in today's episode we're going to try and uh, do a little bit more worky work on the castle here. Um, looks like I need to eat a little something. Getting a little hungry. Grab some, grab some stuff here. There we go. How about that? That'll work. Take a little bitey bite. Okay. Um, what we're going to do first and foremost, as you can see from, as you may recall from the last episode, I uh, had a bunch of uneven terrain in here, and so I went through and I leveled everything out, made everything all uniform and nice and neat, except for my farm. I'm going to have to do something different with that, and also my uh, uh, pulverizer and redstone furnace. i got to get those put together somehow, but what we're going to do today is, uh, had to tear down the smeltery that was over there. We're going to go put it over here. We're going to go put it over here in this space right over here. You can see that I already moved some of my stuff. Um, but we're going to build a, we're going to build the smeltery. Now I already have all the blocks and everything. Um, this is all mirrored, made out of seared brick. Um, to make seared brick, let's see here. To make seared brick you have to get this grout stuff. And a grout is clay, sand, and gravel. Uh, for each one of those three you get two pieces of grout and then you just smelt the grout and it turns into these seared bricks and then you put four seared bricks together and you get uh, seared brick blocks um, so and then you know you've got the seared tank and the controller and I'll show you how to go all, go about doing all that but let's get this thing put back together um, so that we can start getting ores smelted down <clears throat> into liquid form um, and it's a pretty basic shape it's kind of a, a six or four-sided kind of thing but it doesn't need corners on it the corners don't have to be filled in um, you do have to put it put the seared bricks in the bottom and then over here on the back side the side that we're not going to be able to get to. Um, also, I've got torches in here in the back. That way, once this is a closed off space, nothing will spawn in there. Because um, that would be kind of, you know, yeah. You know what I'm saying. Don't want anything spawning in there that could cause us some problems. Let's see here. Yeah, that'll work. There we go. Perfect. Get one there. Um, now, also, we need to put in our little spouts, and I think the spouts are going to go, let's see, I think the spouts are going to need to go right here on these two corners, yeah, spouts will have to go on the two corners because they have to, you have to have a certain amount of clearance for them. So we'll put these here like this, uh, come down here on the ground, right here, and grab our little, um, not the controller, drains. Need drains. Need one drain here, and one drain here. And I was playing around with this a little bit in my creative world. And I noticed that if I try, well, let's see if it'll work this time. Let's, oops. I tried to do this a couple of different ways, and it, when I tried to place these uh, faucets, okay, they'll place now. Um, but I had, uh, when I, I was going to try and put the the drains all the way back here in the corner, and when I tried to place the, the faucet on it, it would place on the cobblestone and not on the drain. And obviously that's not going to work. Um, but I can see that I might have a little problem here, so let's let's do this. Let's clear this out a little bit. Give ourselves a little bit of room to work. Do the same thing over here. Go up three. That won't look too that won't look too terrible, will it? No. And as a matter of fact, you know what? Let's do this. Let's go here and here. And I think. 
I do have some of these. Let's I'll tell you what. Let's just do let's just do cobblestone steps, and we'll just kind of decorate that corner out a little bit. Um, yeah, I was doing doing some other stuff. You can see that I put some arch archways in there. We'll do the same thing over here. Kind of this way. Nope, not that way. Darn it. Try that again. Go there. Yes. And go there. How's that look? I like that. I think that looks okay. You guys leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Um, then we have to come in here and we have to get our controller and we have to get our tank. Um, we're going to put the tank right over here, I think. Yeah, put the tank right there. And it still has lava in it. That's good. And we'll put the controller right here. Like so. Okay. Now we've got to be careful because now this thing is live since there is uh, since there is stuff in it, it's ready to go. So we'll put that there, that there, that there. One there, one there, one there. There, there. And boom, boom. Okay, smeltery is all put back together. Now we do still need to place our um, casting basin and our other casting basin. This casting basin that I have in my hand, I think we're going to put it right here because logical flow would be casting basin to all the Tinker's Construct tables. Um, and then we'll put this other basin right here. This one here you use to make uh, uh, blocks of material. So if you had, you know, at least nine ingots worth of material inside here, you could pour a block with it. This over here you use the uh, the casting uh plates, the pa the pattern plates, and then you can cast a, an individual thing. But there's the smeltery. It's in. We'll probably do some, some decorating up above it um, because we will most likely have that tower be an occupiable space on the second floor. The second floor is something else that we're going to get involved with today. Um, I've been thinking about how I want to do this, and I think we're going to put in a staircase. And the staircase is going to go here. So the stairs are going to go up this way. We're going to go up to about a f probably, oh, let's see. How about we go up one, two, three, four. Have four, have four blocks high till we get to the ceiling. So we'll put, we'll put the next floor level there. Yeah, we'll put the next floor level there. Oops. And we'll come out two blocks to get to that space. And then from there, we'll do stairs. And let's see if I can place this. We'll see if I can do, place in like a boss. Look at oh, Well, I was placing like a boss. Stupid stairs. Stairs are funny. If you don't place them just right, stairs will just wreak havoc on your brain. Um, but we'll do some dirt there. Whoops. Dang. Lag much? Wow. There we go. We'll do some more stairs here. There we go. And more dirt. Nope. See? you got to place the stairs just right. Or... They will make you not happy. There we go. If you place the stair towards the top of the block, it turns it upside down. Ooh, Enderman. Oh, why is there an Enderman in here? Ooh, you guys all saw that, right? That was creepy. I do need to fight some Endermen. I need some Ender Pearls. Um, but I am not quite ready to do that yet. Uh, all right, so we need a shouldn't shouldn't ought to need yeah I will I will need will I need do I need don't need perfect okay come back here and 
tear all this dirt out. I'm not sure what I want to do with the space yet underneath. I don't know if I want to have it be part of a room. I could put... No, nope, don't take that dirt out yet. You need that, silly. Okay. Um, yeah. So that'll get the stairs going up. And this will be the next level right here. Now I think I want to use... I think I want to use... Um, I don't know. Man, I don't know what I want to use for the for the floor up here. Um, but the other thing I need, I'm going to need to do is get the uh, get the parapet all the way around. Um, now the top here, let's take a look here real quick. You can see what I... The top here is uh, two blocks wide all the way around the sides and the back and three blocks wide uh, up here in the front. Um, and I can look out across my majestic kingdom. Um, not that I'm trying to be a king or anything, but um, but this will be kind of nice for, you know, just kind of seeing what all's going on out there. And I probably am going to need to take this a, a little bit higher uh, because I do, like I said, I do want there to be a second story here. And the way it is right now, uh, yeah, don't dig that one; you'll fall down. Um, the way it is now, if I put the roof there, then the second story is only three blocks high. So I'm probably going to need to go at least another, uh, go at least another row, just so I can get a, a, a ceiling in these rooms. And then, of course, you're going to want the towers to go higher and um, and so forth. But we're we're definitely making progress here. Let's get rid of that. Don't need that there right now. Um, but the other thing that I wanted to show you today is, you know, we've got the we've got the smell tree, and the smell tree works great. But there's a there's something else that we want to build uh, that we need to build that that allows us to just take a you know an ingot here, an ingot there, and combine them and turn them into uh, into something uh, a little bit different. Um, <coughs> In order to build a few things, there's there's something that we need that's called um, a uh, is it a redstone reception coil? Uh, let's see here. In a lot of this Tinker's construct type stuff, it's either is it the transmission coil? Uh, nope, that's silver. Uh, that is electrum. Yes, the oops. The redstone conductance coil is made out of electrum, and electrum is, you have, in order to get electrum, you need to get electrum blend. To get electrum blend, it's going to be pulverized gold and silver, okay, and that's fine, but there's another one here, is it the reception coil maybe? No, nope, that's just gold. Um, but there's there's another ingot out there that's that's called invar and invar becomes very popular in a lot of the other crafting type stuff and in order to get invar you have to be able to, uh, you or no in able to build the induction smelter you have to have invar ingots and so in order to do that we need to figure out what we got to do to make invar ingots so let's look at a uh, smelter the induction smelter right there. The induction smelter takes two invar ingots and so we're gonna have to make some invar and invar is made by oops, invar blend and invar blend is basically pulverized iron and pulverized nickel or ferrous so let's see what we can do about that. I believe I've got some we're going to need two of those, and I think you get three uh, per. I think you get three uh, three invar blend from this crafting method here. Where'd my ferris go? There it is. There you are. Get one of those. Um, now we got to use the pulverizer, and I have the pulverizer set up 
to feed, I had the pulverizer set up to feed right into the uh, redstone furnace. That way, no matter what got pulverized, it would just be shipped over here and turned into a uh, turned into an ingot. I don't want that. So what I did was, if you uh, when you normally would open up a pulverizer, you come over here and you see this little configuration tab. You can change where all of this either goes to or comes from. Okay, right now the furnace is hooked up to the red side. So if I wanted everything to go out of, if I wanted to put something in here and pulverize it and have it go straight to the furnace, I'd want this block to be red. Well, I don't want it to go to the furnace because right now I'm just trying to make dust. So I want to change that to no output. So now I can come in here and I can put the, the ironing it in there and get pulverized iron dust. Like that. Do the same thing with the ferrous. Put it in there and get pulverized ferrous dust, just like that. Okay. Now I can come out and I can go into just my normal uh, inventory crafting and do this and get three invar blend. Now I can take that invar blend back over to my furnace, put it in there, and it will output to the chest be these right nope that's not it where are they there they are three invar ingots okay I only need two so we'll take those two just like that and we're also we want to make this induction smelter so we've got our two invar ingots we need a redstone reception coil that's just two pieces of redstone and a piece of gold so we'll take a piece of gold and a couple of pieces of redstone. Redstone, put that all back in there. Okay. Need to need to get my crafting bench and bring it over here where I can actually use it. It's kind of far away. Oops, had all that stuff in it. That's okay. Let's just bring it right. Let's just put it right here, I guess. Crafting table. Like there. And we want redstone and gold and reception coil awesome okay next thing we need is we need to we need a bucket I think I have a bucket we'll have to look around for it but we need this machine frame and a machine frame is a piece of gold uh, you can use iron ingots which I have plenty of and glass blocks so let's go find my glass blocks those should be over here uh, glass block glass block glass block uh, there they are get four of those four glass blocks uh, we also needed uh, gold and iron that's going to be over here in the metals chest so a piece of gold four pieces of iron okay crafting bench that was this and this and this there's our machine frame and I think we have everything we need now oh need two copper ingots need to get those out of the out of the metal chest one two okay now come back over here shift click uh oh we're missing something what are we missing uh, invar ingots did I get the invar ingots I do get the invar ingots uh, oh, bucket. We need a bucket. Let's see if we got a bucket. 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 Hello, bucket. Bucket. Haha, -ha, bucket. Okay. Now we come back over here. Go up here. Induction smelter. Shift click. Everything gets put into the crafting table and voila. Induction smelter. We can bring that over here now. Um, yeah. you notice that this stuff is all in the air well that's where ground level was before when I plopped it all down after I moved here from the uh, from the original mad science laboratory um, yeah so what we're gonna do just for now this stuff is all gonna move but we'll go ahead and we'll just put it right here well let's see here um, let's do this so that we are sure that we get it facing the right way. 
There we go. We'll go right here like this. That way we know it's facing the right way. We need some <coughs> leadstone energy conduit because it has no... <coughs> excuse me again, man. Allergies have just been bugging me this spring. Man, oh man. Um, it'll, it's, uh, it holds 48,000 redstone flux per tick. It has zero, meaning there's no charge to it. I should have some leadstone energy conduit right there. Perfect. Had a couple left over from before. We'll bring this over here. Whoops. And we'll go just like a soap. Boom. And now it has power. And it should be... Ooh, ooh. Oh, I might have to change the configuration. Maybe. Um, oh, steam dynamo's empty. That's why it's not charging. So we need to get some coal, which I think I might be out of coal. Oof. Uh, yeah. Might have to go mining. Let's go mining. Let's go see if we can find some coal. -y coal. I don't think I have any in here. Emery. Obsidian. No. Let's go down in the mine a little bit. Um, let's just pick a spot. Let's go here. I would assume we're going to find some gold eventually. Or not gold, coal. I know what I'll do, just to, because uh, I don't have any torches either, but I think I can make some charcoal pretty quick and easy, because um, I should have some, should have some wood left over in one of these chests. I need to get my tree farm going again. I got that. Oof, yeah, we're, we're looking rough. Let's turn that into a piece of charcoal at least. Oops, man, mouse is sensitive today too. Still got a little charge in that, so I should be able to burn that off real quick. Um, the other thing we're going to need to make pretty soon is a leadstone energy cell. That will help to keep this stuff all powered up. Um, help to keep all this stuff powered up. Need some sticks. Torches. Torches go there. I always put my always put my tools in a certain order. I always have my sword out here in position one and torches in number two. That way as I'm going caving, I got my sword ready and I got torches to light stuff up. Um, I've found that I die far less often if I do that. Uh, let's go down here and hopefully we'll get to some we'll get to some uh, coal here real quick because we need it. We need it bad. Found lots of copper though. Man, there's a ton of copper right here. Hello, sand. Oh, we're getting out towards water. Let's not go that way. We will take our regular pickaxe and get some of this iron. Let's not go any deeper. <laughs> um, cool. I love this hammer. This hammer is amazing. And I would have thought I would have found coal by now. Good grief. go down this way a little bit more. <laughs> I hear zombies. This is, there's a cavern, like a big ravine right here. <clears throat> and I wanted to get down to level 12 to see if I could find diamond, which I think I did. Um, 
but I, I just kind of bridged across this and closed it in <coughs> for later exploration. And because it's dark out there, everything spawns up on the roof. So I got slimes up there. I've got, um, <laughs> I got zombies up there. I got skeletons up there. I'm going to have to do battle with them one day. Um, really wanted to show you, really wanted to show you some stuff. Uh, oh no, that's pitch blend. I still haven't figured out what that stuff's for. Um, don't know what that pitch blend stuff is for. Gotta figure that out. Aha, coal. I think I see coal. Yes. Yes, I do see coal. Very good. Oh, I hear slime. Ooh, I hear slime. Where's the slime? Where's the slime? I need a slime. There's a the slime. Hello, slime. Need some slime balls. There's one. Got a slime ball? Got a slime ball. Yes. I need a slime ball because the slime, if I'm not mistaken, the slime will help me. Ooh, gold. Hello, gold. I think I want you. Um. Oh, I can't pick it up. Darn it. Uh, seeds. Don't need no seeds. I got plenty of those. Um. But yeah, the slime ball. If I'm not mistaken, the slime ball will help to um, uh, let's see, let's take our torches out. We can pick those back up in a minute. that up. Anyway, let's do this, and this, and that. Okay, put that there. There we go, that picked all that back up. I think I got it that time, there we go. Yeah, I got it all now. Uh, but anyway, the slimes, gotta be careful down here. <laughs> I was mining away down here and I ran into a pack of silverfish. Woo. That was that was ugly. Uh, one of my one of, I think that's my yeah, that's where my latest death was. Those silverfish, they uh I was I had there was a lava pool right here and I was you know, I had a I had a bucket of water with me, but I wasn't using it. I was just being real careful and I mined away at this place and I got attacked by a silverfish and it pushed me into the lava and I died. So, yeah, that was bad. <sighs> but anyway, uh, let's go back upstairs. We've got some coal now. We do have coal now. Yes, we got some coal now, so we can put some we can put some coal in that steam dynamo and get it making some power and build up a little bit of power in that redstone, or, or not in the redstone, in the induction smelter. And then that'll be about it for today. Uh, I'll show you how this thing works. That all lit up. I don't want anything to spawn down there. Yeah, that's lit up pretty good. I think it'll be okay. Um, okay. Throw some coal in there. Like so. Um, we can get rid of this. Don't need that there anymore. Um, so now if we come over here, there we go. Building up some... Um, building up some uh, some redstone flux. Um, and we can now use this to combine two ores, uh, like if we wanted to make that, uh, if we needed to make more invar, now we don't need dust. Now we can just come over here and we can get two, uh, two iron, and we can get a couple of, uh, get a ferrous. Um, hang on, i got to do something with this slime ball. Okay, so now we can come over here and we can take the two iron. See, I put two iron in there and nothing happens. It won't do anything until there's a valid combination. So we'll go there like that. And now it'll smelt that down into... Ooh, where'd it go? Go over here. Oh, no, don't do... Darn it. Actually, no. Yep. I'm going to have to change that. 
so that it doesn't automatically feed into the pulverizer. So we'll turn that back into Invar, and there you have it. So we got a staircase happening over there. Second floor will get will commence uh, very very soon. Um, that'll be in the next episode. We'll we'll lay out that second floor. We also need to lay out some rooms down here. Do a little bit of tidying up on all this stuff. Get this stuff back down to the ground where it belongs. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Uh, if uh, if you have any questions or comments or just things that you'd like to see, please leave a comment. Also, please, please, please leave a like. Uh, you're doing me a huge favor by leaving likes on the videos. Um, I, I know that some of my videos have uh, kind of lacked direction, and that's just because, you know, I, I'm new to this whole thing, and I, I, I appreciate your patience as I as I gain my footing and uh, get and get my get myself together but I do hope that you've enjoyed this episode and uh, until next time right wing RB saying see ya later bye bye